Wow, so beautiful here, look. Beautiful sunset. Up here in the Netherlands. Doing a little tour with my Lamborghini. Uh, I didn't drive it for one month because um, uh, because uh, it's too fucking expensive. Uh, but you know, I do need to drive it uh, once a month because otherwise the battery um, goes dead and also. Uh, um uh, the battery goes that and also everything everything uh, starts to break down eh? people a lot of people don't drive their Lamborghinis um, in the winter and then uh, or supercars and they leave it just uh, for a couple of months four or five months sometimes six months just not driving it at all and um, it's very bad for the car because um, you know, a lot of these things in the car needs oil. You know, the whole, it's a machine, it needs oil, it needs to be oiled. The whole engine, all, a lot of parts, and they need fluids. And so if you let it stand for a couple of months, these fluids dry out, the oil leaks away, and, and, and it stands bare boned. Uh, and then it starts to re uh, rest. They are uh, roosting in Dutch. Um, and um, it's not good. Uh, so it's better to drive it a couple of times in the winter uh, Then uh, you avoid a lot of ha uh, hassle But you do need to wash the car then fill up the tank fully like now I'm gonna drive it again not for a month, but I'm gonna fill up the tank uh, Inflate the tires fully a little bit harder three bars uh, you can do that uh, that's the maximum uh, if you're gonna drive above 250 kilometers an hour for a, a prolonged time with this car, it's recommended that you do that. And uh, that you uh, do three bars, but normally you do 2.2 bars of pressure in the car, but I'm gonna do three because then, um, then, uh, uh, then you avoid um, uh, tire uh, spots. If you leave it stand for a couple of months, you can get spots in the tires that may destroy the tires. Some people say that's bullshit, that used to be the case, that's not the case anymore with modern tires. So, But I don't mind uh, putting the uh, uh, the high end of the pressure on it. Uh, uh, fill up the tank fully because that can uh, cause condensation. If there is uh, some air in the tank, and condensation means water in your uh, uh, fuel, and then you get uh, other problems. Um, Actually, that's the worst that can happen to a car is water in a fuel tank because what will happen is it's an engine, it's an explosion engine. So the, 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 the fuel explodes and that creates the power. But when there is water in that, you will, you will get little, little... Um, uh, it's, well, the, inter, the, the, the internal thing of the engine will be damaged uh, and, and, and that will uh, break the engine. I also discovered uh, that uh, that this car has 72,000 kilometers, um, but actually you can drive with this car uh, 150,000 kilometers before the engine uh, is dead. Of course, you can. Yeah, it's possible you have to replace it sooner, um, but if you take uh, good care of it, it's probably 150,000 kilometers. So that's a good uh, thing. Because last video I said I, 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 I'm I, I'm going to sell it, but. I'm not, uh, I haven't sold it yet and uh, I don't think I will. Of course, everything depends on my investments, but for now, you know, the car is much cheaper. It's actually a cheap car if you don't drive it because the money you put in keeps its value, which is quite, I didn't expect that, but um, I paid uh, 70,000 uh, euro for this car. Today I can sell it for 80,000 euro. And, um, and, um, that means it, it has gone up, but of course the euro in one year loses 5% uh, of its value. So if I get 75,000 euro, that's about the same as 70,000 euro one year ago. Uh, so so I, I made some profit there. Um, but that's because I, 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 bought, uh, I bought the right car. But on average, these cars have gone up with five to 10,000 euro this year. 
Um, and then I'm talking about Gallardo spiders and the low end. Uh, it used to be a couple of them, a couple of three uh, were for sale in the 70s in Europe, 70,000 euro. I, I took the cheapest one. And, and but yet another one 73 another one 75 now this year it's not for sale for that price it's like in the 80s 83 85 uh, you have a, a two three uh, yellow one so it has gone up um, and that's interesting to see um, uh, so so that means that if you don't drive this car you don't lose your money and that's a good thing um, however if you drive it I did uh, my calculations more in depth uh, in that in depth uh, and uh, and it's uh, it's really a lot of money so i spent in total 57000 euro on the car after buying it for 70000 euro i paid 57000 euro to drive it for one year of course some of these costs are one time costs like 10000 euro registration tax to to get my plate like that's only one time so I, w I will not have to pay that again but many of the of the costs are actually variable that means that it depends on how much kilometers I, I drive that's the only one that I will and a few small investments like buying jacks or uh, doing some upgrades to the car like let's say that's another 5,000 to, to maximum 10,000 euro so that's 20,000 euro, but that still remains about 40,000 uh, euro that uh, I will have to pay again if I drive another 25,000 kilometers, 24,000 kilometers, which I did the first year. And so if you convert that, that's about um, 2 euro per kilometer that uh, I would I pay. And uh, that's a lot of money in my book. However, it's a lot cheaper than buying a new uh, Hurricane, uh, the, this is the Gallardo, the new one is the Hurricane, uh, so you would have to pay 250,000 euro, uh, second hand uh, at least 200,000 euro, and then your Hurricane Spider is not there. Um, I mean, it's now starting to be sold, but uh, or starting to come on the market, but there is no second hand uh, spiders yet. Um, but that for sure would cost you 250 and not 200. But second hand Hurricanes 200. And the problem is that you do have a lot of. Um, not only do you have. Uh, I mean, you have a little bit maintain a little less maintenance costs. If. Uh, that was a Hummer. Uh, if you. Um, by the way, it's super beautiful. Um, uh, oh, put the lights out so um, do you have um, depreciation when you buy these new cars you will not pay 2 euro per kilometer you pay uh, 4 euro per kilometer because you have you pay tons of depreciation you pay less in maintenance eh? like I had a lot of breakdowns and it became a little bit too much for me uh, so that sucks with this uh, 10 year old Lamborghini you have much more breakdowns than a new Lamborghini I think but um, the total cost of breakdowns was for me like for the 25,000 kilometers that I drove that first year was about 20,000 euro huh? uh, did it cost me in breakdowns and um, um, that's a lot but if you buy a new one and you you drive 25,000 kilometers, um, then you will have that. Uh, you will, you also have uh, certain costs, but you will have a lot more in uh, depreciation that you will pay than the maintenance you pay on a 10-year-old Gallardo. Um, roughly estimated, it would probably cost you 40,000 euro in just depreciation. If you buy with a new, uh, if you drive with a new Gallardi 25,000 or 24,000 kilometers, that's about uh, 12,000 miles. Uh, I think, is that correct? Something like that, yeah. Then, uh, then, then, then you will, like, you, you buy it for 200,000 euro, such a car, you drive it 25,000 kilometers, well, then you will... Uh, you can sell it for 150,000 only. Eh? So, I mean, that's roughly estimated, but um, you will pay a lot more, um, I think. 
so so this is actually a good deal and the awe factor eh? like if people dr see this car driving they are like wow a Lamborghini there are very few people that can see the difference between a 10 year old Lamborghini like this and a new Lamborghini they all think it's 200,000 euro they don't uh, know that this was probably a lot less because it's 10 year old it's only people that know something about this that will see that eh? that will see oh it's just a guy I don't know it's 10 year old thing uh, you have to have the hurricane to be the top of the line eh? or the Aventador eh? Uh, this is just the baby Lamborghini not many people think like that so so you do get like 95% of the R factor compared to a hurricane but you pay uh, at least half three times less uh, per kilometer that you drive this eh? so of course if you have the money if I have the money I wouldn't mind buying a hurricane instead of this of course it's a more beautiful car it's a more awesome car eh? but um, yeah, uh, for now uh, I'm very happy to keep this one. My my investments are very volatile, so selling this car and then maybe in one year my investments go well, and then I want to have one again, and then I have to buy a new one. This cost me a lot to just like just buy the same car. It's not even possible eh, because this car has some cool stuff that I won't find on other second hand. Uh, Lamborghini Spiders Gallardos from, from this years hey, like I have a super audio system all completely built in um, like hey, this is uh, uh, this is not standard Lamborghini it's Pioneer eh? uh, but it also has in the front uh, a, a receiver uh, and here it has a subwoofer on the legs that's hidden but that gives me an awesome sound here which is super cool and you don't have that standard in these Lamborghinis that will cost you I don't know how much 5,000 euro probably to build that in or maybe 7,000 then I have these seats here eh? super beautiful this is Alcantara leather eh? you don't have that with these 2006 cars this is this cost this 10,000 euro the previous owner uh, did that eh? he, he, he did that normally you only have that with the Lamborghinis uh, Gallardos that are um, uh, from the years 2009 but not before 2009 so so that's very cool that this car has that and if I would buy another one you wouldn't have that but I would pay the same price um, and, uh, and 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 what else um, uh, that's the most important thing um, yeah so so but I, I, it's just a learning process for me to have such a car uh, I was driving it a lot and and, uh, and 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 it was fun but the bill was just way too high so now I'm thinking how I can enjoy this car in a more um, uh, uh, in, a, in a cheaper way eh? where can I cut costs um, and I think, um, of course, driving less, obviously, and I did uh, drive too much, uh, so I, uh, I will only drive, use this for fun. Uh, I will not use it to go shopping, <laughs> grocery shopping, eh? that's, no, eh? I just take my bike and uh, I drag milk and water on my bike, because it makes no economical sense to do it this car, it's super fun, and if I would have the money to blow, I would continue to do that, but I don't have the money to blow anymore and so I need to cut back and it uh, it's uh, it's a lot cheaper to go on my bike a uh, grocery shopping than to with this car and then um, uh, what else um, um, also like one thing it's perfect this car makes is also very expensive like the moment something small breaks want last year I asked Lamborghini to fix it and uh, that uh, that's very costly so I'm just gonna let things like if things break down I think I'm just gonna let it as it is you know you don't get all that money back when you sell this car when you sell this car you don't get any money for the options all the repairs you did no the money is just based on the year <laughs> and the amount of kilometers it has and uh, whether it was in an accident those basic things uh, that's the price you get huh? um, so anyway I'm gonna look at that what else uh, can I cut costs um, uh, yeah that's about it I think um, 
so yeah um uh, that was my uh, intermediary winter report uh, about this uh, beautiful Lamborghini and uh, I'll take you guys for a little ride now eh? so that you can hear the beautiful engine learning a lot about just cars in general with this with this Lamborghini because I never had I had a car but never cared about cars and so certain things I learned like when you start driving a, a car when you start the car I used to immediately start driving just to be economical with the, with the fuel but actually you're not being economical at all because the, mo the moment you start immediately driving you just start the engine he's still cold everywhere and so you're gonna like start shaking with the car and things are still cold and so you damage the car what you need to do is you start the car and you need to give it one two three at two three minutes just uh, the engine rolling and then you can start driving eh? and then of course with the Lamborghini you need to wait bef uh, before the engine is warm uh, before you start really pushing it so much for watching and uh, have a great uh, see you next time bye